If I had to sum up my life into one word, it would be abundance. But when it comes to my performances, minimalism is the only one that I ever allowed. I always felt that anything physical I would use would lessen my spectator's experience and take away my credibility. For this reason, I have never chosen the easy path and worked out ways and methods that allowed me, with nothing or with a pen and a piece of paper, to reach people to the depths of their soul, uncovering fears and hopes and dreams and maybe leaving me less useless in this world, having lightened the burden of it to someone else. That is the purpose of mentalism to me. That feeling is the one I was having every time when I was sitting down and thinking, you see, now I have to move on, uh, think responsibly. And this period of my life, I had two objectives. I will tell you exactly what they were. Finding a car, because I was with my bike, and finding a house. And uh, that was about uh, my new life, because I would uh, have children one day, I would... Uh, and I do believe that relates to you too. What is this that you are concerned with? <laughs> Actually, I just got married. <laughs> you got married? Which is really weird. <laughs> this summer and we're actually trying to buy a house now. It's not as easy as we thought. You are, it's a closed environment. Think of this living room here. And you are with someone, that's a man. So it, that's obviously your lover. And you're facing each other. Think of a mirror image of each other. And uh, you notice that he's hiding something behind his back. That you're trying to peek, but he smiles and uh, maybe considering that the game has lasted long enough, you see his, his hand pop and you see he's holding a, a, a big bouquet of flowers. You see it like an, an explosion of yellow. And these yellow flowers are roses. You're so excited, you just reach out and grab the roses, and uh, there is even a thorn that pokes your uh, thumb. You don't feel it, you're so excited. You take the roses, smell them, and you just apply them, press them against your chest. You see nothing around because these flowers are hiding everything. After that moment, you lower your hands, and you... <laughs> You don't see him anymore. I don't see this person in the picture anymore. You are alone. So do not feel like that because maybe it's painful, but it's cathartic. It's good that you remind that, remember that because you know better now. And uh, it played a very important part in you maturing. So this is something that I think will not happen easily to you anymore. So it was, I think it was a good thing that happened to you because it happens to everybody, I think. But that's what you were thinking of? Yes? Yeah. I am Felon Bilek and welcome to Sibyl.